breakfast? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. I don't have a specific project lined up for you today. Instead, I got a whole bunch of Jeep related errands to run and I want to take you along for the ride. So I'm going to run through my day, kind of like Jason Statham in the movie Crank, only without the epinephrine man. Epi something, yeah. Epinephrine man. Epi. Epinephrine. Okay, okay, okay. I've got it. But of course, I'm going to slow down and show you the details of the good stuff. But I've got the good stuff. I'm going to start the restoration process on one of those rims for Project Rex J. It needs some wheels. Uh, here we go. We have to deliver these parts to the speed shop. The parts for the new 4.0, the speed shop just built. So we got this high flow thermostat housing. We got a high flow water pump and that brand new elbow fitting for the coolant line that I installed. And we got, uh, what is this, a camshaft positioning sensor. This is from Beach Jeep. Uh, we're gonna see if this is good or the one he has might be better, I don't know. We'll figure that out, but we're gonna take a ride and see the new engine. We're also going to visit the police XJ parts car. We're gonna do some parts swapping and see my brother's police Jeep. Gonna get a little taste of that. And I do have a product that I want to try out. Joy Tutu's heated seat cover. So that's just what it is, a heated seat cover. Look at that. All right, here we go. Here is a multi-port USB socket and cigarette lighter adapter. So all you gotta do is plug this into your vehicle all right over there. And then we can plug in the heated seat element right into there. So that's pretty simple, guys. You can't really screw that up. And here is the on button. It's high, off, and low. Very cool. All right, let's just wrap this on our seat and we'll be on our way. All right, well, that was a breeze to install, but unfortunately it doesn't work too well with these ZJ low backs. I'm sure it'll fit a lot nicer on an XJ high back sport seat, but we're gonna leave this on, try it out during the day. All right, on to the next mission. Let's make some room in the trunk for Jeep parts. All right. See, this is no good. I cannot have flat tires and I can't roll it back and forth. So off with these tires. There we go guys, early 90s 10 hole Jeep rims for sale. Okay guys, check this out. Here's something I made just recently. This is a custom dehumidifier slash dryer lint catcher. What I did was I hacked apart an old dehumidifier reworked it put the controls on the outside of this box it's made of pvc plastic sheeting and we got some pressure treated wood what this is is an air filter with a lint screen so far it's working great catching all the lint while dehumidifying the moisture i also have some ventilation ports in case the dehumidifier shuts off it could vent out here if it has to, or if the dryer shuts off, the dehumidifier can suck air in through here if it has to. So far it's working great, and I'm glad I took the time to build it. It keeps the basement uh, dry and lint free. Uh, why it's not ported outside? Well, when the house was built, they kind of just stuck the washer and dryer here. This isn't where I plan on keeping these. I don't want to drill a hole in the house if I'm gonna move these to another location. So that's what I made and I like it. 
All right, here we go. Here is one of a set of four of those ugly snowflake rims that came on the General Grievous ZJ. Now, I never liked these wheels. They were always ugly and peeling and gross. That's why I replaced them with the Ultra Stars. I didn't want to chuck these because they had really nice tires that were still good. So I'm going to clean these up, paint them, and put them on the Rec J. So what I already did was I sanded this down. I used an orbital sander. I used files hand sandpaper, uh, Dremel, and I got all the corrosion out of the cracks. It's such a pain on these wheels, all these little snowflakes, nooks and crannies and grooves. Doesn't make it easy. But um, if it comes out good, maybe I'll do a how to restore a set of wheels under like, I don't know, maybe 50 bucks. So we'll see how this comes out. So we got it all prepped and ready for paint. I already wiped it down with some isopropyl rubbing alcohol. And obviously it's taped up using this garbage paper. Here is the paint I'm gonna use. It's been warming in some hot water. Uh, this is Rust-Oleum Hammered. And it's gonna give a nice hammered surface. Why hammered? Well, it's uh, it's gonna mask, hopefully, all the imperfections from this fading, chipping clear coat. So we're gonna give this a shot right now, and uh, if it works, I'll report back to you, and uh, you'll see it in that How to Restore Some Wheels video. All right, paint is thoroughly shook. He shook, cause ain't no such thing as that way, bro. And I got the rim flipped over, and just gonna do a nice gentle coat inside just because you could kind of see this from the outside nothing too crazy there we go and we're gonna set this back down let's give a nice light first coat Pretty cool so far. You can kind of see the hammeredness already coming up to texture. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's uh, let's see how this dries, and we'll come back tonight after we run our errands. All right. So I gotta pull a fender, a driver's side. So I'm gonna need a screwdriver. T25 and a 10 millimeter. Got my DeWalt impact gun and my extensions. So we're good to go. Gonna head over to my police model XJ and I got the can of gas and we'll make our way over to the speed shop to drop off all these nifty little parts. Right, guys here it is this is our doa police model xj this used to be my brother's it is now my father's and mine and it does not run so what we did so far was we replaced the battery we got a new walmart everstart the old one was six years old and stone dead so this is new it's good to go we also got ourselves a new coil pack rail. We took one from a running XJ in my backyard. Uh, we definitely cleaned out this camshaft positioning sensor. That's good to go. We also checked the computer. We did a, a computer swap with the one from Rec J also. Uh, everything is good to go. We put, uh, put ourselves a breaker bar on there. We, we cranked it over, made sure everything moved smoothly, and we also did a compression test. Let's see. Here's the compression test. If you want to see a compression test video, I did one on my two-door, and we used this thingy. We also have the computer over here. So, so far we replaced a lot of working parts, and so far no dice. Um, one thing we didn't check, we, we never looked at the fuel gauge. So, uh, check this out. We got a fuel light on, and it is well below the E, and uh, I don't know if it's a fuel gauge issue or not, but <laughs> we're gonna put some gas in it. That's why I brought my gas can, and uh, we'll see if that helps. All right. No, well, that could be 
be an issue <laughs> later. Um, check this out. I don't know if you can see this. I took a brand new gas can that had that stupid safety squeeze and turn thing, and I just melted them together with a torch. So <laughs> screw that safety crap. It's garbage. It doesn't work. Watch, I make myself look like an idiot and spill gas everywhere. <laughs> Famous last words. So far, so good. All right, so we got five gallons of the good stuff. What did I label this as? Eighty-nine, and I got this on twelve twenty-five twenty. Ah, it's Christmas gas with stable. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, one thing I want to check real quick: a Schrader valve. See if there's any any of the good stuff in here. No, no, no. Let's start with the good stuff. I don't want to hear about the stuff. Press that little thing. All right. Yep. There's gas up in here. So we know we got fuel in the fuel rail. Wow. Oh, well. We'll give it a shot. Ready? Contact. <laughs> Nothing. Well, all right, guys. It's not a fuel issue. It's a spark issue. We'll have to keep on digging. Another day. All right, well, we struck out on the fuel test. So I think it's getting plenty of fuel. Um, this doesn't mean that it doesn't need like a, a new fuel sending unit or, whoops, or a fuel filter. That's something we could always put in, but I, I feel like it's not getting spark. So we'll dive in another day. I got some stuff to do, which involves swapping this fender over with the <laughs> with the parts police jeep so i gotta hit the road but for now we are just gonna get this off so i can take off this header panel and then get to the fender without breaking anything guys so unfortunately the fuel trick did not work for my brother's the new police model XJ so uh, instead of messing with that we're just gonna keep kicking that can down the road but I'm gonna go get the fender from the parts police model you know the stimulus XJ so gonna get that um, and I've been driving this whole time with the uh, the good old joy tutus seat warmer on and uh it's pretty toasty i'm not gonna lie and uh i'm not supplementing it with uh zj seat warmers it is all joy tutus and so far it's pretty hot gonna have to kick it off of high down to low pretty soon because uh my buns are toasted <laughs> i can't believe i said that in a video ah! All right, guys, now you can see why I needed the fender swap. My brother had a run-in with a deer, and this is all bashed in. So, we got ourselves a new fender, dirty but straight. Fender 
Gear swap was a success. I also took the header panel because it looks just a little nicer than my brother's. I keep saying my brother's. I gotta say my police model. So that is done and we're gonna make a little extra stop. We're gonna see Mike. We're gonna do a little part swap. So uh, here we go. All right, guys, I've been sitting at this red light for what feels like forever, and I noticed that my butt didn't feel warm, and that's because the socket doesn't really stick right. I mean, it's got a lot of play. And, well, in a bumpy Jeep, you can expect this to wiggle loose. So I wish it stayed in there better. Not great. Enjoy Tutus, not great. Woohoo! Finally! What's up, Mike? <laughs> All right. Part swap. <laughs> Put this down here. All right. Sweet. That's the passenger side, right? Passenger side. Yeah. Right, that yeah. Right. Passenger side bumper end. And uh, passenger side headlight bezel with two tabs. Sure. Sweet. Right. Yeah, let's throw it in the back. <laughs> oh, dude, you got white parts. Score. I just yeah, picked up some white parts earlier. Nice. Matching set. You want any uh, money for it or even part swap? Sounds good, man. Beautiful. Thanks, dude. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Take care, you too. Well, all right. That was awesome. We met up with Mike, a subscriber who was local, and we had a part swap. And just so happens he got rid of some parts that I needed, happened to be white. So maybe we'll pop that white little grill on the police model, and uh, we won't have to worry about that hole cut out for the sirens, or where the sirens used to be. So, all right, on to the speed shop to drop off parts for the engine build. All right. All right, so this baby wiggled loose on me one too many times, so I was forced to unplug the additional multi-port and plug it straight into the Jeep, and this holds nice and tight. But unfortunately, now I have to utilize the power outlet for my phone charger, which is much shorter. So, what are you gonna do? Catch 22. Well, either way, my seat is hot. speed shop gonna deliver the parts so they could button up that 4.0 we could get it in beach Jeep when the time is right so here we go I need more hands one of those kick things no nope. not today there it is guys a brand new rebuilt 4.0 Oh yeah. This is for Beach Jeep. And she is nice. She is 
0331, but come on. Eh, it's a tuppy head. Trust me, I checked. <laughs> oh no, guys! Oh my goodness, I just realized this is a TJWJ motor, and right here, you can tell by the water pump, it is a dead giveaway. Now, right here, this little uh, impeller, this drive thing, it's threaded for the fan, like the TJs, WJs. It's also sticking straight out to the side at the 3 o'clock position. Oh, man, I am so bummed out. It looks so similar. Even the thermostat housing from the front is similar. It takes the same power steering pump all up in here is similar. But then when you go around to the sides, you can tell... Well, actually, you can't tell. It's really hard to tell that the mounting brackets are different for the motor mounts. The motor mount brackets will not fit. So you cannot put a TJWJ motor in your XJ. Well, you could if you make custom brackets, but that is a pain. And then another issue is all the accessories. The accessories won't line up because there's different accessory uh, mounts. So... That's that. We cannot use this motor. I'm so heartbroken. What a bummer. <laughs> bummer! <laughs> but at least I could take home some parts. <laughs> That's not how I planned that to go down. a new one guys my display lights keep flickering what the heck is this I think my switch is going bad it is all the way on and it keeps dropping down as dim as possible oh I didn't even touch it right now come on huh this seriously is a day in the life of Jeep oh my goodness all right, let's see if that stays on for a bit. Nope. Oh, boy. All right, we got another project on our hands. More content for you guys. Got it. Whew. There she is. <laughs> That's filthy, but it'll buff out.
Check that out, guys. Not bad for a little bit of paint and elbow grease. This baby looks brand new. Now this is three coats of that hammered paint over the course of the day, and uh, it's still ever so tacky to the touch. I'm just gonna leave this down here, let it cure up. I'll get a center cap, paint that too, and man, that could go on Rec J, looking really good. Uh, I was going to clear coat it, but it doesn't need it. That hammeredness <laughs> looks looks nice and glossy on its own. There we go. So you will get a video on how to refresh some rims. So I'm gonna have this pizza, and we're gonna go up Cyrus. Ah, nothing like a cold one after a long, hard day of Jeep work. So, this Joy 2-2 seat cover, didn't really care for it too much in the ZJ, but I had low back seats, which didn't make it feel too comfortable. I had heated seats already, so I felt like I didn't really need it. But, I'll tell you what, it clicked when I put it on these high back XJ seats. Yeah, that's what's up. So, it feels feels really good it doesn't shift around or, or nothing it doesn't slide like it slides on the ZJ seat so it's definitely good for cloth seats that aren't heated already obviously I wish it was plugged in now because it's kind of cold but uh about the plug so it comes with the multi port plugger which is a great idea because it gets you a USB port in there it gets you two USB ports and they are the fast charge so it's really good but unfortunately um, it's just it's just not deep enough. It it ejects, so it it's teetering when you're driving in in a bumpy Jeep. Eh, it's not the best. Uh, it worked best for me plugging it right into the Jeep, and man, when this thing's on hot, it really gets toasty. So it is good to have. I feel like I don't need it in a ZJ, but for you XJ guys with these kind of sport seats, man, you should scoop one of these up. So. Good job, Joy Tutus. I'll give you a thumbs up. Thank you for the product. My buns are toasted. We had a crazy day. Um, man, that, that 4.0, <laughs> it really sucks. I can't use it. A nice, newly built 4.0, zero miles on it, just waiting for me to take it, and I can't use it because it's a TJ, and I'm not going to do crazy mods to get it to work in my XJ. I'm sorry, I'm not going to do that for a Beach Jeep. I want Beach Jeep to be mostly stock, so... Gonna pass on that engine. Maybe we'll find a different use for it down the road. What else? Uh, I don't know, guys. That's it. Just another day in Jeep life. <laughs> Jeep my life. So uh, that's it. We're gonna sign off. Uh, remember to like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. And I'll. I'm forgetting to do one more thing. I got it. Peace.